welcome to the first Chicky Girl Creations video of the year. Happy 2020 everyone. So today I will be decorating this smudge bowl slash incense holder that I made out of air dry clay. And um, I'm sure you're wondering what a smudge bowl means. So I'll use it with my smudge stick which originates from na the Native Americans and basically it's like herbs tied together and like um, you use it to like for cleansing and for ceremonies and what i'll do is i'll light it i'll smudge it out and then just let like the smoke come out so basically it's like a large incense stick and you can google smudge sticks to um like get more information on it so i'm going to give it a coat of clear chalk primer that's basically like clear gesso but i make it myself and it has a chalky texture and that's just going to give the syrup the surface um is going to make it grabbier so that the paints hold on because the air dry clay is kind of like dusty and i'm glad that i did prime it because i didn't prime the bottom just because um i didn't think it was necessary because i was only going to paint it with like one um layer of paint but like the paint that i put on the bottom did pick up a little bit so i'm glad i primed the sides um what i didn't do is make sure that it was dry completely before i started to add paint so the um the clear chalk primer and like the base layer of paint was picking up but that wasn't too much of an issue since i was going to go in with extra paint and i'm just going to show you how i wash my brushes um if you've been following me for a while you know that i used to treat my brushes really badly and now especially if i'm working with acrylics i'll rinse it out in the part that has the grooves and then i'll give it um a second rinse and a third rinse just to make sure um, all the stuff is out of the brush and then I let, leave it to dry flat um, so the water doesn't run into the um, barrel and make the handle split and that um, water pot is from Hobbycraft so I'm going to grab the paints in a little bit I'll be using Royal and Langnickel craft paints Pale Mauve and Blue Mist for the base coat, as well as Crawford and Black Acrylic White Paint. I'll also be using Reeves Fluorescent Pink and Violet for the second coat of paint, as well as Wilco's Gold Paint. And you can see I have some yellow paint on the side there. I thought I was going to use it, but in the end I didn't. So, while I'm going to do the first layer, which is basically, I'm just going to add some abstract um, strokes of paint with a large flat br brush the same one I used to add the um, clear chalk primer I will talk about patreon real quick if you want to see this video um, in real time with real time commentary you can join um, and become a patreon well a patron sorry for as little as three dollars and you'll be able to get early access to my friday youtube videos as well as they'll be real time so you can follow along you can have them in the background and you'll just get a more in-depth look of um, my process as i create and i'm sure you can notice that my youtube video is on a friday i've decided to change the schedule from mondays to every friday um i just thought it would be better since it's like the start of the weekend so you guys would have a little bit more time to be able to relax and watch the videos so you can see i've added the first layer of purple and i'm going in with the blue mist and that kind of made it look a bit lilac which was nice um i liked all the layers i put on and i'm dry brushing it as well so i get a really nice texture and i'll just keep on going back and forth until i'm happy with it and then i did let this layer dry really well before i added the um, next layer especially since i did see it was picking up and while i'm doing that i thought i would just quickly mention like what kind of art goals i have for 2020 i have a really big project i'm not ready to mention yet in a, a month or so i'll mention it and since i have such a big project i wanted small goals as well um so that i don't lose too much motivation doing the big one so i don't get like bored or anything so i want to complete at least one monthly art challenge i really want to do inktober since that's in my birth month and like if i do that i'll definitely film them i won't do daily videos but i'll group them and so that you guys can see the process and on patreon i'll probably have um more real-time videos of the process of me doing the art challenges and i thought if you guys like I could put, um, if I do complete the challenge, I can put all of the um, paintings or drawings into a book and have it available for you guys to um, purchase. I also want to sketch daily because I find 
I'm lacking in a lot of like skills so I need to get better and I thought if I sketch daily I'll improve quicker um, practice makes perfect that kind of thing I also want to create um, complete more of my art journals as well so and of course those videos will be up on YouTube um, the sketch sketching videos will mostly be patreon um, that will be for the second tier um, the lion's tier these like kind of the real-time videos that will be early access for the Friday YouTube videos will be the Eagles tier which is the first tier so you can see I'm just adding a few more like a little bit of white I thought not that it looked too dark but it just just too much purple and I did want it to be more varied I didn't want it to just be like one color I wanted there to be a lot of visual texture so I'm just and again all of that is dry brushing I'm not even washing my brush in between paints since everything's going to just like mix um, together on the smudge bowl anyway I thought I wouldn't wash the brush and like the bowl shape I was planning to make it look really like elegant and have like the side kind of come down like water um, but it was just really fighting me to be honest I'm not a fan of working with air dry clay I made this last year um, when I was camping with my mum and my sister and I just I'm just not a fan of air dry clay I prefer real clay um, and I was just fighting with it so I just thought you know what I'll just make a bowl I'll smush down the side and call it that and just make it pretty with paint and actually I did I do prefer that I did that because then I didn't feel too precious about how I was painting it which then allowed me to not get too nervous and I did and I do really love how it turns out in the end so I'm going in with a small flat brush now and I'm adding the fluorescent pink in a few areas and I'm adding that first because I was going to go in with the darker purple afterwards and I knew I would cover up a lot of stuff with the darker purple so I thought I would add the fluorescent pink first and then it could just peek through. I'm not a fan of pink but sometimes I do include it in my artwork and I thought it did look really good with the purple and the reason I picked purple is because that's my favorite color if you guys want to wear and that's also why I'm going to add gold because I absolutely love gold. If I can add gold to a piece I'm happy. Um, so yes yeah, so I just added a few of those spots and now for the purple again I'm going in with a small brush because I don't want to cover everything too quickly um, I find when I really like the initial layer of something it's better to go in and slowly add things than just like add loads because you can always add more but it's hard to take away and yes I can cover it with chalk primer which is like gesso but I didn't want to do that because I really like the um, under layers so I thought I would add little bit by little bit and I'm sure you guys are wondering when am I going to do a studio tour I just have a few more things I want to add just decorative really um, just to finish it off and make it look like pretty um, and then I will do the studio tour so it's coming I think I want to have it out like in February sometime so it is coming um, I promise it'll it'll come out soon um, that's also why the videos took so long to like get ready because I also needed to sort out a new filming setup and I'll gladly do a filming setup video if you guys are interested um, I could do a video just so to show you guys what it's like now because it has changed quite a bit since my last one and I'll just say like what I initially planned for this bowl I was going to add the same colors and then um, I was going to add gold details so after I do the bottom of the bowl um, you don't see when the paint picks up I don't think I pointed it out in the video I think I just mentioned it um, but after I do that I do go in and add some more darker areas because metallic just does look better on darker areas it tends to stand out and I was going to do like a kind of leaf pattern around like the rim of the bowl and maybe around like the sides um, but then I didn't wasn't really feeling that anymore so I just thought I would just add the gold with using like the little brush um, and then later on I will add some like details but I'll wait until it comes up to that point so what are your guys like goals for 2020 what's your art goals what will you um, what do you have planned for 2020 I would love to hear you can let me know in the comments below and of course if you create anything or you're inspired by any of my videos and you make something please do share you can tag me on instagram or you can join my facebook group and share there because i love to see what you guys create 
And all of those links are down below, as well as my Patreon link too. And I don't know if I've mentioned, but I do have a shop open now. Um, it is, I'm struggling to find a good one, like, that's kind of UK based. So the prices are in dollars. Um, but it's pretty much close to like the same prices that they were before when they were on my older site. But I am working on finding one that um, I can have pounds on for like my UK followers. So, and that's also linked below. So I'm darkening where I was planning to put the gold um, details, as well as when I darken the inside of the bowl, I did want it to look deeper than it really was. So I thought that would be um, quite cool to kind of play with like a kind of visual so what kind of videos would you guys like to see um i know i'll definitely be doing like art journal videos but are there any kind of like tutorials you guys would like to like me to do and um would you like to see more videos like this where it's just kind of like random projects that i just had and i just wanted to share with you guys because that'll be cool i do have a couple things um that like i found while i was moving into the new studio that i want to like revamp to, um add to the studio so i can definitely do videos like that too so if you're like whatever kind of videos you're interested in seeing please feel free to comment below um i'll happily take your guys suggestions so i think i'm going to start adding gold now yep i am and again just the same way with the dark purple i am starting off small dry brushing as well um, I did wash the purple off, but then I like just dried the brush off as much as I could. And then I'm just going in really lightly with the gold so that I can pick up all that texture I put on on previous layers. And um, I'll give you a closer look in a bit. And what I thought was really cool, the inside of the bowl looked like one of those really big shells. It might be a clam shell, like how it's really iridescent on the inside. And I just thought that was really cool. Um, I noticed it while I was editing, so I just thought I would point it out to you guys. And the camera is just not picking up how shiny it is. Um, there will be a close-up like um, video thing at the end of the video, but I wish the camera could pick up how shiny it is. And um, I will be varnishing this, so I'm making sure to put the gold in all the areas that I really want to be um, accented and to stand out, because once you put um, gloss varnish on, everything just really um, pops and is even shinier and it just looks really pretty. Um, so this is where I decided, you can see that I'm not adding the gold details. I just thought I would just add um, this gold, just picking up all those details and then I would varnish it afterwards. And um, with the varnishing, I'm supposed to leave it for like 24 hours. Um, I'll explain that more when it gets to that point. And I'm just pulling in all the crevices um, I think I might have pointed out just for a really short while that the paint kind of picked up on the bottom. Uh, and to fix that, I just literally went over with the same purple paint. It wasn't too much of an issue and it stuck on after that. So now for technical difficulties. Um, when I showed this to my mom, she said, why don't you add a mandala? So I did. Um, with Reeves Titanium White, I watered it down and I used a detail brush from Hobbycraft. Um, it's by Dela and Rowney and it's called a rigger brush and i added all those detailings like the repeat pattern on the side and the mandala in the middle i went really slow and then i did go over like a second time in some areas just so it would be a little bit brighter so that's the brush i used that's size one and all the um all the materials that i use will be down in the description below and I'm so upset that it didn't, like, I filmed it, but then when I went to transfer it onto the computer, it was corrupted, and I couldn't save it at that point, or at least I don't know how. So I'm really gutted that I lost that part of the footage. Um, I hope you guys can forgive me. Um, so yeah, so that's basically what I did, and then, uh, like, about 48 hours afterwards, I decided to varnish it. Um, it says 24 hours at least to leave um, whatever you're varnishing to dry but it was still feeling tacky after 48 hours so i left it for a bit longer and what i did with the gloss varnish this is by winter newton by the way i am using that same flat brush i used for the prime and i'm basically putting more gloss varnish than i need on the surface and then spreading it nice and softly and me having extra gloss varnish on means i'm not having to press too hard so even if there are areas that still might be a bit tacky that i missed um it won't pick up and I'm just going really lightly over and I'm getting in all those crevices so that um, once it's dry, it'll be nice and shiny. 
and then I'll do the bowl afterwards. And um, it says in the bottle that it recommends to have two coats. So I did do the second coat off screen and that's when I glazed the bottom as well. Um, I always make sure to like varnish the whole thing because if it chips on the bottom, it could affect the varnish like on the sides. So I did make sure to sign the bottom first and I'll show you that in a little bit. I always make sure to sign everything I make. And um, yeah, so once I um, signed it, sorry, not signed it, signed it, I did the second layer of varnish and that just made it look even better. So with the bowl, I did put a little bit too much varnish in by accident and I could see it was pooling at the bottom. And I did pick up some paint and I'm thinking it might be the purple craft paint that it picked up. So maybe don't use craft paints when you're going to varnish something. Maybe um, stick to like student grade paints like the Reeves paints. I'm thinking that's what went wrong there, but it wasn't too much of an issue. What I did was I just wiped off all the extra varnish on my brush and I just kept on picking up the pooled varnish um, until it didn't stop pooling. I just made sure that everything like, and I made sure that spot was still nice and varnished and um, I let it dry. And I made sure some of that varnish went down in the hole for the incense stick, just so that part would be sealed as well. So it wouldn't get like chipped or damaged. So you'll see me picking up the varnish you can see like in that glare section where all that varnish was picking up and when i picked it up i just wiped it on a cloth or a paper towel sorry and i just did that until i didn't need to anymore and i'll show you the paint one more time just in case you can't remember what it looks like the um pale mauve craft paint and yeah so that's it for the varnishing and again I'll wait at least 24 hours between coats um, of course, if it's been 24 hours and um, it's still tacky, just wait a bit longer. And because like condensation does kind of like sit in the studio because it's so cold outside at the moment, I do um, I did bring the smudge bowl in to make sure it dried properly because I noticed in the studio it doesn't really dry very well. Um, at least, yeah, not as well as it should do just because it is like kind of wet. So you can see I signed it using the Zig Posterman um, paint pen. It's supposed to be waterproof. When I did varnish it, it did kind of pick up on the pen, but I didn't leave that for 24 hours um, to dry. So I'm thinking that's probably the issue. So the two coats are on there. It's all done. It holds the incense stick really well and I can't wait to use it. Um, I will be using it in a few days. I wanted to leave it for like a week before I did use it to make sure it's completely dry. So. Here's a close up. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please do give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, welcome and please do subscribe. You can click the bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.